Hi everybody, and uh, welcome to our very first Digital Craft project. This is going to be a new uh, part of our uh, video library where we work on specific projects, um, and this one's going to be a web development project. This was a request from one of our blog readers, David, and as you can see here, I asked him if there was anything particular that I can make in my next video that will help him out. And he responded with a simple CMS or a survey. So for the first project, we're going to do a survey. And it's going to be a basic survey. It's not going to be very in-depth. Functions we're going to give it will be, you'll be able to create a survey and then add questions to the survey. And then the users can come on and take the survey and it will store the answers um, with that user and associate it with each question and we'll be using a MySQL database and if you haven't uh, watched our video uh, series on basics of databases and basics of uh, dynamic web development I do recommend that you take a look at those. This, uh, this video is assuming that you have just at least a little bit of knowledge of PHP and MySQL. Uh, if you don't, you may, you may definitely want to check out those other videos. So, uh, in good form, we're going we're gonna to sketch out the database. And this time around, instead of using Illustrator, I made a, a nice little template in Excel. And that's where we're going to map out the database. So let's flip over to Excel. And here's the master sheet here in our spreadsheet. Um, really quick, I want to note that uh, this is not a tutorial on Excel, so hopefully you have just a little bit of knowledge of Excel at least to navigate. If not, you can always go back to using Illustrator and use the template that I provided uh, in the database series. So in this master sheet here, we just have a, a template of our table set up. Now on this sketch sheet here, I've set up a couple blocks here where we can put in our tables and fields and, and all that. So the project name is survey and we're gonna go ahead and create our first table. We need to create a survey table and this is gonna hold the surveys themselves. So let's go ahead and call this survey and let's add an ID or primary key for the survey and we're gonna add the title and this should be good for now. We may, uh, as we map this out, we, we might come back and add a couple more fields. For our next uh, table, we're going to do the questions. And what this table is going to do is it's going to house all the questions that uh, are in each particular survey. Um, because we could always put question fields in the survey you know, like survey question one, survey underscore question two, and so on. But then we're limiting ourselves to a certain amount of questions. So there's no need for that. We can create this other table here that'll house all of our questions. And we'll link it to the survey table by using the survey ID. So let's get started here and I'll explain as I go. So we first need our primary key and we'll call this question ID. And then we need to put in the survey ID. And this is how the uh, it'll know that this question relates to or is associated with the survey ID. And we need to put in the question itself. So we'll call that question body. And that should be good for now come down here and the next table we're going to create is the answers table and similar to the questions table this is going to house the answers to those questions so we need to make, create a primary key and then the actual answer And then we need to put in the question ID. And that way we can tell it uh, which question this is uh, referring to. 
Um, and we're going to need to add something else here in a second. But first, let's go ahead and we're going to create the final table. And that's the users table. And this would be whoever is filling out the survey. Now, we're not going to create an actual user database as such. There's, there's no logging in or anything like that. This is just going to store um, the user's name. And uh, that way we can associate it with its answers. We need a primary key, user ID. And then we'll do user name. And then let's come back over here. And we're going to need to associate these answers with a user. So at this point, I'm pretty sure we have everything we need for the sketch. And we can start uh, implementing this into the MySQL database. So let's recap really quick. You, as the administrator, will be able to come in and create a new survey, give it a name, and then you'll be able to add as many questions as you want and associate it to that specific survey. And then a user will be able to come into the front end of the uh, site, type in their name, and then answer all your questions. And those questions, or the answers that is, will be stored in this answers table. It'll be associated with the user ID and the question ID. So what we need to do next is we need to go in and create this actual database. So as noted in the database tutorials, we're going to do this on our project server. And depending on your hosting or, or whatever server setup you have, this you know may not look all the same, but hopefully you can navigate it around. So what we're going to do first is create the database, and we'll just call this uh, Survey 2011. And we'll click Create. And I already have the users, and I talked about how to set those up in the, uh, the uh, database videos. So let's go ahead and associate a user here. We'll say Add give it all the privileges and say make changes and go back and now we're ready to come into PHP my admin and open up our database alright so we need to first create uh, our tables so the first table is survey and it has two fields And we're going to add those fields here. And I'm just going to make this a medium integer. Primary index, auto increment, yes. Survey name, we'll make it a var car. And we'll give it uh, 300 characters. And that should be good. Say save. Good deal. And we're going to create another table. And this will be the questions table. This one has three fields. integer, medium integer. Uh, for the body, I'm going to go ahead and give it a medium text. So question ID is the primary and there's an auto increment. Survey ID is just an index. Say so save. Alright, next table, survey answers. There's four fields.
So we have the answer ID, the question ID, the user ID, and the answer body. Medium integer, medium integer, medium integer, and we'll do medium text again. Answer ID is the primary with auto increment. Question ID is an index. User ID is an index. Say save. And we need to create our last table, which is the users table. And this has two fields. So user ID and username. Medium integer, var car, it's like 300 characters. User ID is the primary with the auto increment. Username, we're good there. We'll say save. So now we have the database set up. So in the next video, we're going to enter in a sample survey and we're going to start working on the public side of the application and get that all sorted out.